Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Map. And today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions. I'm going to graph each equation. So, if I was given this equation, y equals absolute value of x plus 1. Well, sometimes, all right, sometimes it's easier when you have it exactly in this form, but as you get comfortable, you will see that the vertex is just 0, 1. But if we have y equals Instead of just the x there, let's write it in that form x minus h, x minus 0, and then plus 1. Okay? Same thing, but helps us see that our vertex, our h value is 0, and our k value is just a positive 1. So our vertex there is 0 for the x, up 1 right here for the y, so we have 0, comma 1 right there. Okay? Then our a value that's up front is a positive 1, that's our slope, so we just go up 1 over 1 here, up 1 over 1. 1 over 1. And we mirror that left, up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1. Connect the dots, making it a V. Now it's a V shape again because it's a positive A value, it's a positive 1. And now we have our graph, our final answer. Quick recap y equals absolute value of x plus 1 has a vertex of 0, 1. Put that down. Our a value was positive 1, so it's a v-shape because it's positive, and our slope was up 1, up over 1, or slope 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. Mirror that on the left, then connect the dots, and we get our final answer.